<clears throat> what is it, baby girl? I hear you. Hey guys, tweeting real quick, and here's my baby here, my baby girl, little baby Malibu. Mm -hmm. No, no, leave the microphone alone. Leave the microphone alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to go ahead and tweet while I was thinking about it. <clears throat> yeah. No, you can't go that way. <laughs> they love that microphone, I'll tell you, and the cords. <clears throat> Can you hear me okay, guys? <gasps> Hi, Elaine. Thanks, everybody, for being here. It's been a while since we did anything with brush lettering. Where's Janet? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'll zoom in a little more. No, okay, baby, you're going to have to get down. You're going to have to get down. You can't have the cords. <laughs> so, no, you can't have that either. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't make me throw you out already. <sighs> okay, thanks, guys. So, how's everybody doing? Happy hump day. I'm going to put a hand here so you can see that I'm here. <laughs> uh, Pamela, Zeely, Cassie, Darla, Elaine, Melinda. Louise, Ray, Stax, Gaga, uh, Cassie, who else? Did, I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Pamela lurking, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I thought I would do some uh, practice brush lettering doing you guys' names. So I think I'm going to do, like, do your name and then do, like, a little decorative, like, you know, some kind of little border or something around it like this, just to practice Oh, no. Well, I hope you went to the doctor, Gaga. I hope you uh, are taking care of yourself. Hi, Nashua. Muffy. Who else? AJ. I know I'm probably missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And uh, hump, happy hump day. Hi, Nanamo, Terry L. Terry, don't we don't we miss a survivor? <laughs> February, February. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sundance Lady. Uh, who else am I missing? Molly, Kat, Lee, Lit or Lie. It's either Lie or Lee or L I, whichever one. Sandy. So, um, yeah, if you're just joining us or watching the recording, I always come on a little early to say good morning to everybody. And uh, I stream every Monday and Wednesday as a, as my schedule. That's my schedule every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. And then I do impromptu sometimes throughout the week. Hi, Joyce. Let's see. Uh, Mama Four. Hi, Ann. <laughs> Hi, Nanamo's Ann. <coughs> I need to go get me some juice. Let me go run and get me some uh, cold juice because my coffee's cold. Well, I'll get some coffee too. I'll be right back, guys.
Here we go. I think I'm going to lock the cats out too while they're downstairs playing. All right. Hi, Julie Topaz. Kimberly. Yeah, stepped away to get some juice. Barbara. Probably missing some people coming in. Let me turn this fan around. Okay. So. <clears throat> hi, Christine G. Hi, Sabrina, Claire. So what I thought I'd do is practice some brush lettering today. And by brush, mat, uh, brush lettering, that just means plastic tip markers. <laughs> It's not really like a brush, like a calligraphy, um, calligraphy type. It's just with the um, brush tip markers. I mean, we could do calligraphy, you know, too. We have done that before as well. Uh, with the ink, dip, you know, nibs and ink. But I thought today we'd just do some brush lettering. So happy, wonderful Wednesday to you too, Julie. Happy hump day. Uh, let's see, Teresa, Kenny, how's it going? Hope you're well. Jerry, so they said hi, Teresa, Kimberly. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I thought I would do, um, I, I'd do some names. How about I pick a name and then that and I'll and I'll send them to y'all in an envelope. They're going to be small. Let's let's make sure that they're no bigger than. Let's make sure they're no bigger than this. Hang on. Get an envelope here. You know, uh, I think this is five. I think this is five by seven. Where's where's my Janet ruler? Let's see. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half, eight and a half by five and a half. So that's how big they will be. This big. <clears throat> so full, got a dip pen for Christmas. Doing better. Oh, good, Kenny. I'm glad. Just reading some chat, saying good morning. Hi, Gracelyn. So, uh, I got me some new stickers. And some uh, Studio Ghibli stickers here. Let's see, do I want to? Well, I'll show those another day. I don't want to confuse it. I don't, I don't want to go too much rabbit trailing. Although we do at least a couple a day. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Barbara, good morning. Lori loves Montana. Working and lurking. Okay. When you say blanket hellos, does that mean you're under a blanket? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, we all use that term. Blanket hellos. Well, does that mean that you're under a blanket? <laughs> so anyway... Let's see. So, trying to think of anything else going on. Anything new? What the, what the, what the? Um, I guess I could just cut down some paper while we're talking. I thought this was a good weight paper. It's not too thick. It's not as white as I'd like it. Let me compare it to the envelope. See, it's not quite as white as an envelope. Maybe I need, maybe I need something a little whiter. Maybe this sketch paper would be good. Although I do want to do some, that's not as white either. I want to do some little like water, well, I say watercolor. I mean with markers, with uh, super tip marker watercolors. I'm trying to make it really easy. Let's see, what paper? I guess I could just use cardstock. Well, let's just pull some cardstock. This is easy to, it's smooth and it's also, um, what do you call it? Uh, a little stiffer. So let's see. Cut this in half. It's just, uh, I think that's about what it is. Cut this in half. So let's, let me get out my cutter. We'll, we'll do that here. So do two at a time. 
while I'm reading chat. You know, I'm probably missing people coming in. I, what did I say? Five and a half, eight and a half by 11 is five and a half. I think that's right. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to trim them down just a little bit more to fit in the envelopes, but uh, this will give me a, a, a nice little base. I just thought it'd be fun. Do a little brush lettering today and um, some um, of y'all's names. I can, uh, you know, send out some envelopes, some just some nice surprises. And we'll, we'll work it like we did last time when I did the animals. So what I do is I pick the first person. It's usually a mod. I pick the first person and then that person picks the next person and that person picks the next person. So um, y'all are picking the names. I don't, I don't know why. I think that's probably enough. <laughs> I don't want to get any further than that. Uh, <clears throat> so. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gaga Toots, for the super chat. Thank you so much. Do I, do I have your address, Gaga Toots? You need to send me your address so I can send you a uh, thank you. Here, here's my email. There's my email. Send me your address. I might have it, but send it to me just in case. So let me put that envelope aside. Got some brush pins, and I probably should get out my fresh, my fresher markers. <clears throat> These are the ones that I carry around when I go from room to room. I have a pile of them in here. Then I have some that are here. These are a little older that are up here. I use them when I'm at my desk. But these are a newer set, so be fresher for lettering. And I'll let you pick your net, your colors, too. We'll pick your colors. Hi, Kathy Berg. You and Colleen's... Um, show yesterday well i didn't watch it all because i had some errands to run but uh what i watched of it it was really fun i worked along in some of my books <clears throat> i worked along in some of my um you know the different books that i have because I, I that's usually what i do i work in some for a while that i move on to another one um okay yeah send it to me later uh let's see who else is here well, it looks like Julie Topaz is going to be the first one that I do. So I'll do Julie. And then, uh, Julie, what color do you want your name in? And then we'll do some kind of little, um, I'm going to show these two books. I pulled these two out because they're pretty much some standard basic brush lettering type um, <clears throat> lettering books that I found are pretty good. And uh, then we'll just do some kind of little flowers or something like, you know, something just kind of simple like this. I really like that. That's that's nice. Now, these are done with watercolor. Uh, I'll probably do mine with um, maybe I'll do well, I'll do it with the brush, the markers and maybe some I'll get out a tray to do that in. And let's see a watercolor brush. So we'll do that. Well, there's a glare on that. Let's there we go. <laughs> um you got to work on your brush lettering yeah everybody does i mean we all love it and we do a little bit of it but we don't do a lot or you know what turquoise blue or if you'd rather have a word like i just saw this here trust if you'd rather have a word than your name maybe that would be more you know it's up to you do you want your name or do you want a word Turquoise. Okay. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Let's see. One's a, which one? Do you, one's a little greener. Do you like a blue green, a bluer? Like this is more this color. This one's a little bit more green. Have both. What do you think? Hi, Mark. Do you think... Um, a name or do you think a word? Well, you could guess you could pick either one. A word, your name, your first name, or a word. And we can do it in color. We can do it in black. Well, I'll do a practice one here. I'll, I'll use this as a practice to warm up my hand. Hi, Ashley. Let's see. Uh, the bluer one. Okay, the bluer one. Okay. That's that one. 
Um, and you, would you rather have a word? Would you rather have your name? You're going to get to pick first. And then after, after I do yours, you pick the next person, Julie. So, yeah, so we're going to do a little brush lettering today and I'm doing them on these uh, five and a half by eight and a half little cards and then I'm going to, I'll give them away. I can afford some stamps, guys. <laughs> it's not, it's not that bad. I probably made it sound really bad on Monday when I said I can't do any more international uh, books. Not when they're, not when it's 25, there's a shadow right here. Not when it's $25 um, a book. I can't, but I can uh, certainly do envelopes. Let's see, is that better? There's still a shadow right there. Why is there a shadow? Oh, let's move this up a little. It's a little better. It's a, it's um trying to clear up. It's been, or maybe it's this. It's uh, trying to clear up. So hopefully I can get a walk in today. The name is fine. Okay. Um. Let's see, Cassie Z, who else is here? Holly D, Nanamo. I said hi to Nana and Holly. Thanks, everybody, for the thumbs up. <clears throat> Maybe it just needs a little bit brightening up. Just a little brightening up. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. So, um, happy hump day, Nancy. Yeah, it is. It is ridiculous. Hi, Joyce. So anyway, yeah, it's it's just international shipping is is redonkerous, as we like to say. Um, Nanamo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show both books here in a minute. This one is Ashley Gardner. Okay. And then this one is Peggy Dean. So we'll do, let me just sit here and practice. Let me get my hand warmed up real quick. I'll just use black on this. But if you'd rather have black, I'm going to do a black here too. Where's that envelope? Let me do, use that envelope as a, as a little test for my brush lettering. And I have different pens here. I have the Food Aid Touch. I have, this is a zebra. It's a, and they're all these plastic nib pins, guys. See how that plastic nib is? They're like the, a little, let's see, do I have a flare here? I don't think I have a flare here. Um, I like that one a little better. Some of them have more ink than others. Oh, thank you, Graceland. Thank you for the super chat. Send me your address. I think I have sent you something before. Uh, send me your address again, Graceland. Uh, well, let me spell my SC. <laughs> my email, right uh but send me your address and i'll uh and i'll send y'all out some stuff i need those just to make my handwriting better yeah well and it is good to you know practice i i don't practice near enough on it and uh, this is very uh, slanted. And so I try to kind of do some different ones. This book, I think, has a lot of um, bounce. They're called bouncy or bounce lettering. They're not on a straight line. You can see they kind of go up and down. And, and I like that because then you don't have to worry about it being perfect on a line. Right. And this book has, pro well, it has all the lettering, but it has projects like one done and one for you to practice. Say. It's got the space here for you to practice. So this book has a lot of, has one done and one for you that you can do. Well, let's go down here. And uh, so this whole book is like that. Now I got mine, I got this at uh, Books A Million like a year or two ago. So I, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. It's probably not, well, I can't say it's not in the bookstore anymore, but um so you can see how it's got bouncy letters. <clears throat> and I'll zoom in a little bit here in a minute. Just want to say hi to everybody for a couple minutes. Bloom where you're planted. See how the lettering goes up and down. And uh, I really like that. You don't have to have it perfect. Not that any of us can do it perfect. <laughs> but it's just kind of a an easy way. You, do, you know, it's not... Uh, 
it's not something that you have to get on a get on a line. Like if you're doing a calligraphy, if you're doing a poem or a verse or, you know, and you want it, especially if it's uh, like old, uh, old English, Gothic lettering, you know, you got to have your lines drawn and have it. Hi, Janet. And have your lines drawn and have it really straight. But with this and the bouncy letters, you don't have to. So, Janet, I thought we would do a little bit of uh, brush lettering today, and I'm doing people's names or a word. They can pick a name or the, a word. Julie, I'm going to do Julie's name here in a minute, and I'm going to, she wanted it, and I'll either do it in a color or in black, whichever one you'd rather do. And then I'm going to do a little something like this, Janet. Um, so what I'm going to do is I, I picked Julie just to start. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do a practice here. And I'm just doing, this is just, uh, uh, I guess it's probably about 60 weight card stock. It's smooth. You want something kind of smooth. Even if you're doing some watercolor, because your brush lettering, you don't want to, you don't want texture to, you don't want texture to roughen up your lettering. So you want something fairly smooth, right? And um, it's just kind of like how we did the animals, guys. I'd have what well, I draw somebody's animal that they liked, and then the next person would pick the next person. So I'm not picking all the people. Hi, Gail. So I'm gonna just do a little practice one here, real quick. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little. Let's see. Do I need let's see? I want to be right here. So let me just move my camera. Let's see if I go the right way. Let's go this way. There we go. How's that? That's good. Move my camera to the side so I don't have to move my, my piece. It's right here under the camera. And I can see you guys fairly well. Hot press watercolor paper would do too, yeah. Um, so anything smooth. This is, this. you know, I didn't want it too thin because I'm going to add some water effects, you know, little things here. All right, so I'm just going to do this. And, um, and it's not going to look exactly like that. So, you know, nobody freak out. Let's go right there. <laughs> But I just want to um, thin up, thicker down. Okay, this pen's a little, this one might be a little used because it's not exactly, um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I've used it a lot, I think. And then so you, and you want to go slow. They always tell you to go slow. Okay, they tell you to go slow. Thin up thick down and then if you you know you can kind of fix fix things neatly <clears throat> okay thin up and this is a bouncy letter so the u the u is very high up there and then it has a longer tail i want it a little shorter than that so thin up thick push you know pressure down then thin up, and I gotta get off the get off the book edge. Thick down, and again my pen's a little bit. There we go. Just a little. <laughs> so anyway, just get your hand going. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, um, Anya, Anya J. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the pens and the, and the books real quick before we get started and, again, tell you what we're going to do today so I don't have to keep doing it over and over. And then if anybody comes in wanting to know, you guys can tell them, okay? So these are the Food A Touch. I got them at, um, I got them at uh, Jet Pen. They're Japanese. I don't know if you can see that. They're Japanese pen. Says touch on it. And um, they're probably, I don't know, a couple of dollars each, maybe three. I don't remember because I buy a lot of them in bulk. I mean, I don't buy them individually. And uh, so this one is the zebra, and it's kind of the same thing. It's a Japanese, it's blue, it's a blue barrel, and they're 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 plastic nibs. They're plastic nibs. You can also use a flare. Um, not quite as, um, they're not quite as good as these, a flare. 
you know, a flare pin. I don't have one right here. Let me go over here to my pin. Excuse me, Janet. <laughs> I don't know if I have a flare in here or not. Uh, Y'all know what a flare pin is. The barrel, the barrel kind of, well, it kind of looks like these. Uh, the flare pins. The, and there's, I, there's a couple different brands that are look like that. I don't have one handy. Um, but you, there's, you can use different things. So the other thing I was, I brought out here to show, and I need it in my, let me go in my uh, super tips here. Let me get a black one. Here we go. These are, these are my fresh ones. These are my, I keep these in a bag because I carry these around when I go from room to room. If I want to go somewhere in another room to work. And um, I love my, um, I love my flare. I mean, my, uh, I had this one out. What do you call it? Uh, super tip, Crayola super tips. Now, if you're going to use them to do this kind of thing, there, you have to, you need a little practice because they are, <laughs> they are a bullet tip like this. But the nice thing about, where's my practice envelope? The nice thing about these is you can get real thin. Oh, did I pick up? Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Hang on. Let's swap those out. Uh, you can get it really thin and then really thick. <clears throat> thin, thick. And it's just your pressure. It's just the pressure you put on it. And, and keep it more of a little bit of a straighter angle. It's a little thick there. So it takes a little bit more concentration with the super tips, but they're real cheap and you can get thick and thin. Okay. You can get thick and thin with the super tips. So, um, yeah. All right. So the books that I'm using are Calligraphy Made Easy by Anne's Ashley Gardner. And again, I got this at uh, Barnes... Um, Books a million when uh, so a couple of years ago, probably. <clears throat> and either one of these are really good. This one just has more decorative things to do. Let me get a sip of juice here, guys. <clears throat> but they both have lots of uh, information on, on warm up drills, practicing your uh, shape, your uh, letter forms and shapes. And then they have all the letters and have lines for you to practice. You can make a copy of this if you didn't want to write it in your book. So they have all the letters. And then what I like about this one, there's some words to practice and a lot of bouncy letters. And that means that they're all not all exactly on the line. Some go higher. These are the yeah, other a little bit on the line, but they go below the line. And uh, they're not necessarily staying on the line. <clears throat> so they got lots of words. And then they have these areas where um, you can do little sayings. Okay. And then they have these projects. I have 30 of them. And they have one that's complete and then one that you can do. Okay. One that you can fill in. No, Elaine, don't call me. <laughs> Why would you want to call me, Elaine? Elaine goes, want me to call you? Oh, you're not talking to me. Oh. <laughs> Remember, guys, put it in caps if you're talking to me. If you're not talking to me, don't put it in caps because I think you're talking to me. Let's see. All right, so anyway, then here's like a project done and then one that you can fill in. So this makes it real easy for you just to fill in a project. And they're really pretty. Now, I'm going to do more on my, you know, do my own and use some of these. Some Hi, Jersey. Use some of these as just some reference. But look, you can just do some random swatches. You can do this with, um, now if you do it with watercolor, here's one thing I want to tell you. If you go over, if you go over something, test it first because your pen might bleed on watercolor, okay? 
it just depends on your pen, depends on the paper. You need to t test it. I got me a couple of um, a paper here in an envelope to, to test things on. Because otherwise, if you don't have a waterproof pen, and even if you do have a waterproof pen, and, and if your watercolor is even slightly damp, and I mean like overnight dry, so don't let it be damp at all, um, it's going to bleed your letters, right? So you want to be real cautious if you go over something. I don't know that we're going to go over anything. I plan on either just doing your name in a color or in black, whichever you want, and just a little, you know, some little doodle here, something like this with, um, with my, um, super tips and, and some, and a water pen. So one of the things that you can do, let me put a pen here cause this is where I'm at is, um, and I'll just use the color that Julie picked here. <clears throat> So you can do a couple things. You can, you know, do like your doodles on the page like this. You can do that. Or you can go onto a tray and put it down on the tray and use them like watercolors and pick it up with the water brush and do uh, like a watercolor, like a wash. Now, again, it's going to depend on what paper you're doing it on. You could even do a little wash around these. You can, you know. Because these will they'll move because they're they're water based, okay. <clears throat> so um, you can use your super tips either way. You can use them like watercolor like this with the water brush. Doesn't have to be a water brush. You can just be a regular paint brush dipped in water. It's just easy with the water brush. Or you can go full strength like on here. You could also do things like. Um, you you could use your uh oh, I'm not gonna breathe right now. Okay, my watch is telling me it's time to breathe. Uh you can make the you know you can use a color decorative color along with it. You know, you can you know just uh, there's so many things you can do with lettering. Uh okay, sorry Kenny. It's so windy you can't hear me. Oh my gosh, what kind of weather storm are you in, Kenny? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you could do, you know, you could do that. You can go around your letters, you know, um, or you can just do it in the color. Uh, there's just so many things. You can add the little swirl, swirlies like that. Um, you can add little, you know, little decorative things on the swirls, you know, little little flowers, little leaves, you know, like this. There's just so much you can do. And there's a gazillion books. These are just a, two of my brush lettering books. And I've got hundreds, well, I wouldn't say plural hundreds, but maybe <laughs> books on lettering, calligraphy, um, uh, decorative lettering, decorative initials. I'll, I'll, well, I probably do because I know I have at least probably three full bookshelves full of lettering books. I used to do calligraphy back in the 80s before and I and I know I always say this before there were computers. I don't mean that before we all had desktop computers to print out fonts. <laughs> I like laughter. So uh, let me keep flipping through here. I want to save this page because I like those flowers. So again, they give you a finished project and a blank one to uh, to do to do the project on right it's really pretty it's a really pretty book like look at these little flowers the little leaves this is like i said with watercolor but you got to be careful if your lettering goes over watercolor that it won't bleed <laughs> I've shown I've shown stacks of them, uh, Nana, Nana Mo. We're just I stuck with two books today. Aren't you proud of me? I <laughs> uh, stuck with two. I uh, see. I mean, look how simple this one is with just a high. And um, so anyway, some little palms. This would be pretty with just some little little flower right there. And I really just like this one. I think I'm gonna do this one on Julie's. Or something similar. I'm not going to try to copy it exactly. You know, because I just don't care to copy it exactly. 
Um, but I want to use, you know, some of them as ideas and references and colors. So there's 30 of these projects. There's 30 of them. Like these little flowers here. Those are nice, just little decorative flowers. These leaves are nice. So there's just tons of them. And again, you could do, and then here's practice pages in the back. All these are practice pages, blank white ones and, and lined ones. <clears throat> How, well, do you need to lie down? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I know. I got to take a moment. I'm going to take a sip of my juice, my cranberry juice. I'm going to take a sip of my juice because, you know, I might pass out if I only have two books on my desk. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so that is Calligraphy Made Easy by Ashley Gardner. Okay, the other one I pulled is the Ultimate Brush Lettering Guide. And this one is really good. It has a lot of letter forms and it, a lot of different sizes. Look at all these different fonts that you can uh, do. Well, I shouldn't say fonts. Well, I guess you could say fonts different ways to uh, write your letters depending on the thickness of your pen, you know. And then here's some of the different pens. They have the Prismacolor uh, B brush. Um, they have, I'm trying to read these here. Is that a Zig or a Zebra? I'm not sure. Then here's the Food A Touch, a water brush. And then Janet and I went... <laughs> I should pull these out too, but I wanted to make it as easy as you guys as possible. So I just went with the uh, super tips. But Chan and I bought, I'm going to call her out too, because she did the exact same thing as me. We have both bought, let me just pull, I'll just pull a couple. <laughs> we bought all different kinds of brush, um, letters to brush letter with. I'll just pull these. There's more. <laughs> There's more. I'm not going to pass out, Nanamo. But you can buy all kinds of brush lettering um, pens. Uh, these, these right here are the watercolor. Maybe I'll use a couple of these Artist Loft watercolor ones. Um, but the Artist Loft, the, the, they sell the exact same thing at Michael's and probably other stores too. I forget the name brand. I don't think I have the name brand. But they're the exact pen or pretty much exactly the pen uh, at twice the price. So um, I got the uh, Artist Loft ones because they were uh, less expensive. And then there's some just other brands as well to use uh, for brush lettering but I'll keep it something that is readily available. And so like the Michaels um, brush, let me get one here. Let's, let's get a purple so it'll show up. Oh, wait, here's one that's a Tombow. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so I have one Tombow here. Um, this, I think, is this a blender? I think this might be a blender. This came with something. Anyway, it, the Tombow is the other brand I'm thinking of. It's almost exactly the same. I couldn't tell much difference at all from the Tombow and the Artist Loft. So this one's a Tom, so I have some of each. Okay, let me get an artist loft. I probably bought a couple of each to test. Okay, let's see. Let's get an artist loft red here. Okay, so um, I couldn't tell much difference. One's just a little longer, but I'll, I'll show you the difference. Um, well, no, the La Plume are not. Well, yeah, they are, the La Plume, I think has um, a brush tip as well. One of those doesn't. Uh, one has a bullet nib and a, and a thin and a fine point on the other. So make sure you buy the right thing. It's not, it's Eileen's. It's a miracle it's not Eileen's fault this time. Yeah, Janet. <laughs> so anyway, let's do, let me get my little envelope here that I'm testing on. Okay, so the Tombow, let's show you the, all right, so wait, let me show you the barrels and everything. So the Tombow and the Artist Loft, one is just a little longer, okay? So maybe one has, maybe the Tombow has a little more ink in it, but I'm telling you, they're, they're twice the price. I think the, 
Michael's, the Artist Loft, and I don't remember because it's been a while since I bought these. I hope they're not dried out because I haven't used them in probably a while. But anyway, um, they're half the cost. The Artist Loft are half the cost of the Tombow. Um, yeah, I have, no, not the brush pins, uh, crafting on a budget. I have the Arteza, everything, but I don't have the brush pins. And the reason I didn't get them is because I have the, the Arteza water brush. The water brush ones, I don't know where they are right now. They're put over there on the side. I have the Arteza water brush. It's like the real brush, but it's like a brush. It's like a, wa it's like a brush like this. It's not stiff. It's like a water brush like this. I have those Artezas. I don't have, uh, let me get up, make sure my hands stay clean here. I did, I did not get the Arteza water, I mean, Arteza markers because I have so many of the other things. And I don't even use those enough. So, all right. So then here's the Tombow and here is the Artist Loft. I've got two different colors, so I don't mix up all. Okay, so look. Get them. The, the barrel, uh, it's just a little bit different shape as far as the barrel, but look at those pin, look at those nibs. Try to get them side by side so you can see. Okay. So this one is Tombow. This is Tom. <clears throat> and then this is Loft. I cannot tell any difference at all. Okay. Make sure I'm putting them on the right thing. Yeah. yeah. And then they both have a bullet tip at the other end again that look exactly the same so other than the barrel of the tombow being a little longer which may or may not mean there's extra ink in there the caps are just a little different but uh they look exactly and act exactly the same the thing about the mermaid markers claire those are more a water brush type they're more a water brush. They're real flexible. You need something that has a little bit of stiffness to it so that you can uh, get thick and thin. Now, if you get really good at brush lettering, I've seen people use a, just a paintbrush, a paintbrush and ink, a paintbrush and watercolor ink, right? But you've got to be pretty good and, and have excellent uh, pressure sensitivity with your brush if you want to do it with a brush because it's no different than doing it with a brush right like a brush brush it can be done but it's you're gonna fight you're gonna fight to do it unless you've really practiced and really good at it hi colleen so you want to uh you want that's why i like the zebra the uh food a touch it, these these uh plastic nibs they're not very you won't get it that thick you won't get it this thick that's why i like to use the um what do you call it uh, crayola super tips because you can get this thick and thin you know it, you just need to if see if you like it first guys see if you enjoy it. that's what we always tell you don't go out and like get every pan pastel and spend, you know, $300 on pan pastels, and then, uh, oh, I don't like them. <laughs> get one or two. Get you some uh, get you some Crayola Super Tips. Get you maybe one or two Food A's or um, Zebra. You know, maybe get you some Artist Loft, a set of basic, you know, six or 12 colors of Artist Loft, right? Uh, before you go and <laughs> invest in a lot of money. The other one, the, the Artist Loft and the Tombow. The Artist Loft is a Michaels brand. Artist Loft is a Michaels brand. And, and you only get them at Michaels. 
I'm sure you can get them online too. But and then artist, I mean, uh, Tombow, I also got those at Michael's. But you use your coupons, wait for sales, you know, be be a smart shopper. Be a smart shopper. So um uh, I got mine at Jet Pen online. Jet pens. Janet and I love our jet pens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so let's see. Okay, so I know I'm 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 dilly dallying here. So they have they they show some of the pens in this book and uh, different papers, some you know uh, watercolor. Um, Again, you probably want to get at least hot press. You can do it on, on a cold press, but it's, your letters are going to be a little bumpy. It, you, they're going to be textury. You're going to, you, they're not going to be perfectly smooth. So you want smooth paper. So here's some little different patterns you can play with. Uh, a lot of places for you to practice. Some things about if you're left-handed. Here's one of the alphabets. I used this on a project that we did on the show, I don't know, a year or two ago. I don't remember now, guys. We do so many different things. So, but there's just different alphabet styles. And a lot of this is bouncy so that you don't have to worry about it being on a line. See, look at that word make-believe. See how some of it goes way down and some of it goes higher? It's not on a straight line. That's called bounce letters. There's tons of videos on uh, and then there's numbers here. There's tons of videos by people that uh, do this very, 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 very well. <laughs> so, you know, uh, if you want to see really, if you want to practice and see how it's done, um, bye, Cassie. Let's see, Painty Girl, Sharon, Holly. I said hi to Cassie. I know I'm probably missing some people. So, um, Common hashtags, if you want to uh, go on Instagram. Here, let me hold that up here so you can see that. So if you want to go see some uh, different uh, work done, there's some hashtags. So, uh, yeah, so this one, I, I like them both. This one because of the color and the watercolor and, and the little designs. <clears throat> this one is a really in-depth with lettering, different lettering styles. They're both excellent. So again, this one is called Ultimate Brush Lettering Guide, Peggy Dean. And this one is Calligraphy Made Easy by Ashley Gardner. Okay, so there's the two books here that I wanted. I didn't bring out more. I could have. I didn't. All right, so I'm going to uh, start. So what we're going to do is I am going to, I have some cardstock here, smooth cardstock. And we're going to start with Julie. Julie, did you say you wanted your name? Oh, and I could also, guys, if you want to uh, have your letter forms handy, just have a, you know, have something that if you just say, well, I'm not quite sure how to do a capital J, for instance. Or you can either just make it up yourself or or you can use one of their their forms okay <clears throat> so whatever you decide to do you know you it does take practice it's like anything else lots of practice okay so where's julie oh hi mary hill uh I don't know where Julie, let's see where Julie went. I think she said she wanted her name. My name would be great for days when I forget who I am. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to write her name and then do, a, you know, just do a little flower, something around it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to practice you know, just writing you guys. Now you don't have to have your name. If, if when Julie picks the next person, you can have a word, <clears throat> you can have it in black or in a color. <clears throat> Julie liked this um, teal color. So let's see here. Thin on the up, heavy on the down. 
And you really want to write slow, according to everything they all say. They all say to write slow. It's a little hard for me to do that, but... And see, going way down here and then up here. And then up here. See? So it's like it's not on a straight line. Hi, Crafty Kitty. I got a little I need, I need my fingernail thing. I got a little chip in my nail there or something. A little catch in there. Okay. So like this. And then I, I'm just going to do some little... And we can, again, do it two ways. I have my water thing here where I can put down some color and do that. I think I'm going to just do some little things like this and then put a little, little flower inside. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's do a little. Let's do one more. I'm just kind of using this as inspiration. And then maybe a little... Um, a little pink. Let's see. Do I have a pink here? Oh, let's go with the let's go with the uh, uh, super tips here, and maybe a yellow ochre kind of color. That's too brown. Okay, so you can do this, put the color down, and pick it up with the water brush. Okay, let's just do some little, and that may be too light. So I'm going to do some little stems, some little stems in between, and then a little dot of pink. Just some little something something, guys. Just, you know. Just some little decorations. It doesn't have to be too fancy. Now, I'm, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do hers twice because I want you to see it in black as well. So you can decide if you like it in black or in a color. So I'm a, I'll send them both to her. But, you know, let's see. Um, where's my black? What do I do with my black? Uh, here it is. Because if you do it in black, it really stands out. Okay, I'm going to have to, I got some bump there. I'm going to have to get out a uh, pad or something here. And again, I am not an expert at this. Janet and I, a couple of years ago, <laughs> a couple of years ago, um, Janet and I, <laughs> Uh, we're going to learn brush lettering. Let me get a bigger pad here. Let's see. Just something to put it on because I'm feeling a little something bumpy there. All right. I'm going to make space. I'm to make space. And so you can do this and then... Let's go with the water brush on this one and just do some like little ray things, little say more watercolory, you know, something a little watercolory. Now I see where I touch the black right there just barely. But I touch the black enough, you got to be careful because that's not waterproof. So you'll be pulling out, you know, color. Okay, so I just wanted y'all to see what it looks like if you do your name in black or in a color. So if, and it doesn't have to be your name, it can be a word. It can be a word. Okay. Just make sure these are dry. And so Jewel can pick the next person. And I'm just going to do a bunch of these guys. They're only going in an envelope. And like I said earlier, I, it's not like I can't afford to send y'all guys out anything. I just can't afford to send out $75 worth of composition books. <laughs> so those three people that uh, were international, if y'all missed Monday, the three people that won uh, composition books that I got for a dollar each, 
I sent them an envelope like this size envelope and I packed it full. I packed it full of um, art and doodles and things out of my sketchbook and all, just a little bit of everything. So I sent like Carrie Ann. Uh, I sent a, whoever won a composition book internationally, they got original art instead. So yeah, uh, $25 for a dollar composition book is just not even, that's just not even, it's just crazy. <laughs> so it's just not happening. It's just not happening. Okay, so let's see who else am I missed here. Scoobs, Joy, Sundance Lady. Crafting on a budget. All right. So, uh, Julie, I'm sorry. You said you probably named somebody, but I didn't see it. So, Julie, Julie, who's next? Jean Mama Four. Okay. Jean Mama Four. I should probably let me get a little um, squirrel. <laughs> okay. So, I know, I, you know, just so I, because if some people's names are the same, so let's just put Julie on this one. I know Julie T. <clears throat> okay, Mama Four, what do you want? Mama Four, do you want uh, your name or do you want a word? Your name or a word? Let's get another piece of cardstock here. Let's move the book. And do you want it in a color? Or do you want it in black? Again, guys, it, it does show up better in black with some, um, you know, little, little, some little, just a little flourish. I'm not going crazy. I just want a little bit of flourish. But you can pick your colors and uh, the word. Okay, so you want Jean, please. Okay, there's no I in there. Yeah, I got it. I spelled it right on here. Okay, what do you want it in color in black? Okay, and then if you uh, pick, do you want a color, uh, an accent color? I should probably put something behind that because that's hard to see. But I have to have something so to prevent the lumps. Let me get a let me get a piece of black paper behind it. I could even probably cut them down and mount them on the black. I don't know. We'll see. There we go. Did that detract from the lighting? It might have. No, I guess it's okay. All right. All right. So she wants jeans. And any other color? A blue accent, like true blue. True blue, light blue, <laughs> gray blue. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's see here. Oh, see, I was going to do this in uh, thicker. Uh, let me do it something thicker here. Hang on. Where's my... Uh, super tip i want it in i want it thicker where's my super tip where'd it go i just had it here well <laughs> did it roll off the table where'd it go oh here it is julie's blue okay that's a tealy blue okay all right so i'm gonna go back over this okay i don't i don't like the way that upstroke went Starting that one over. Let's start over. Just paper, people. And I'm also, you really should kind of tilt it a little bit. I'm trying to stay straight because of camera. And I'm going to take these bracelets off. I'm trying to stay uh, straight in camera, but I do need to tilt it a little bit to get the right flow. You know what I mean, Vern? And again, they tell you to write slow. See, so something like that. Oh, you like my watch? Yeah, my daughter got that for me for Mother's Day last year. Okay, so now let's just add a little bit of, um, oh, let's see. Let's, I kind of want to do that same kind of thing. I like those little, little starburst things that kind of. And I think I really liked them because when they were wet, so I think I'm going to 
I'm going to watercolor like them better. And I could have just wet them on the tray, you know, put it down on the tray. But since I already put it down, I just want a little bit of flowy. Let's do one more here. Just something kind of decorative. I've gotten good at this. I don't. I haven't really practiced that much, um, Kim. And then, like for instance, let me go here with um, a food a. Like one of these little letters here, I got a little. It's not. It's a little rough on the edge. So I'm just go in there with the touch of a. You know, go in there with the touch of a. Of a sharpie or a sharpie pen, or something, and get you know fix it up if you want. Who cares? If you don't get it, just right on the first pass. I don't care. I don't mind going in there and fixing something. <laughs> it's just me. So something like that, you know? So there's Mama 4. Okay, Mama 4, who do you pick? <laughs> and I think they do look kind of good on black. I might trim them down and mount them on black. I can't have them any bigger than this. This is the exact size of the envelope. But if I trim it down, here, let's try one. Let's do. Let's do one here. Trim it down even just a quarter of an inch. Coming and going. So trim it down just a quarter of an inch. Then, this is the size of the envelope there. See, then I can put it on black. Let's see. Let me get up. Let me take that off. It's bugging me. Just make it a little fancy. So just put a little piece of double-sided tape. Let's put it right on the edge here. Trim it down. See how much prettier that looks? <laughs> I like it. Okay, so, Jeannie, who's next? You picking the Jersey Crafter? I'm Because I'm, I'm not staring at chat, guys. You might have to repeat yourself a few times. <laughs> So, all right. So, Jeannie, Mama Four, Jean. <clears throat> all right. Let's get another card. Oh, no, this this will be a practice one. I got I got these things that, to practice on here. I got them out earlier. And if you want a word, you can have a word. It doesn't have to be your name. We're just playing. We're practicing today. We're practicing our brush lettering. Yes, I know we need some more likes, don't we? Okay, is that going to be? Thumbs up, people. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for Mama 4. I just realized keeping with the J's. Okay, the Jersey Crafter. Okay, Jersey Crafter, what do you want? What name or what word? Name or word, and do you want it in black or a color? Though you have y'all be thinking about this. So if somebody picks your name, you'll know what you want. You know, do you want your name? A word. Do you want the word in black or in color? Laura, black with same blue. Okay. <laughs> That's easy to do. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let me make a thing here. Laura. Jersey crafter. Okay. I'm just making my little squirrel. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you want, Laura. Yeah, I'm not going to do a whole sentence. We just want one word. Okay, so I'm going to do Laura. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I need to tilt it just a tiny bit. I do need to tilt it just a little. Okay, let's see here.
Okay, so like I didn't close that. I'm going to use a, a food A or something a little smaller to close those A's up right there because I don't want it too thick. Anything else I see a little rough or anything like that. And I'm trying to leave enough room here for a little bit of, you know, decorative. She says she wants the same color. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's do it this way. I'm liking the, I'm liking the, uh, what do you call it? Watercolor little, it's just a little bit more watercolory. <laughs> Something like that. See? It's not too too hard or too time consuming just to do a name. And you can also do more things like if you want to do swirls and stuff, I'd I'd go with the um, you know, a thinner, whatever you got. You can do little, you know, little swirly edges, you know, if you want to continue this up. You know, whatever you want to do. little fancier hi journey <laughs> but i don't do it long enough to you know say i'm a pro at it i'm telling you guys if you want to see some fans some people doing this amazing just go on youtube put in brush lettering you'll you'll see okay so there's more all right so who you picking um who you picking uh, jersey crafter who you picking I'll try, I'm going to do some different, uh, something different with the little watercolor touches now. You want to get out your markers and play? Yeah. And I'll, I, I can show you some other things too with, uh, I mean, with, you know, the Tombows, you know, the Tombows or the Artist Loft, you know, they work too. I'm just doing, uh, okay, so you want Sharon? All right, Sharon, do you want a word or your name? Sharon, do you want a word or your name? And do you want it in black or a color? We have to make these decisions. Y'all be thinking now so that if somebody picks your name, you have something in mind already. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Sally. Who else am I missing? Uh, did I say hi to you, Colleen? Hi, Colleen. I was telling uh, Kathy earlier, I loved y'all's show yesterday with so many books. Scrap Chick, Colleen, and Kathy Berg, they stream every Tuesday and Friday at 10 or 10.30 Eastern, Colleen. Is Sharon, oh, there she is. Name in black and turquoise. Okay, Sharon. Okay, name in, name in black. And again, I want this thin right there. Okay, and so then you can go in there with uh, something, you know, a Sharpie or your food A and just kind of anything that you don't see, you think is just a little rough on the edges. Just go in there and kind of, you know, touch it. Okay, let me make a little squirrel. Just subscribe to me. Can't wait to see everyone. Oh, good, good. Yeah. All right. So now, um, did you say the same color? What did you say the same color of blue, uh, Sharon? What did you say on a decorative? Let's see what else we can have. Maybe another little, like a little flower or something. Do you want? Do you have a specific thing you color you'd like? Otherwise, maybe maybe I'll use. Uh, a uh, tombow green and a flower. 
Did I miss what color? Turquoise. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a green leaf. And then I'll do a turquoise. Little um, flower thing here like that. Just a little. See, I just want it simple. Very simple. Do you go... Oh, uh, every Monday and Wednesday, Journey of Crafting. I don't know if I follow you. Let me write your name down. I'll go find you after a while. I don't know if I... Do I follow you, Journey of Crafting? I stream every Monday and Wednesday, um, 9 a.m. Eastern. And then sometimes I'll do an impromptu. But if you click the little bell notification, you'll get a notice when I stream. Okay, so again, I'll probably trim these down. I'm not going to do them all now because y'all don't want to see me trim everything down and glue. But um, all right, so there we go. All right, Sharon, who do you pick? Who you picking, Sharon? I'm trying to keep my hands clean too so that I don't get, uh, see, you'll, you'll get this stuff on your work. It takes practice, Sue. It does take practice. Okay. Okay, Sharon pick. Oh, she hasn't picked. Holly. Okay, Holly D. Holly D. Do you want a word? I'm writing your name down on the squirrel. Do you want... <laughs> Y'all be thinking about what you want to say, what word or who your name and your colors and all that. Okay, so that when you get if you get picked, then you'll have a you'll we'll have you. I, I thought I had a black one of these somewhere. I probably pulled it and put it in with all my black pins. Um, okay, Holly, black name, gray, blue, and purple flower. Okay, gray, blue, and purple flower. And maybe uh, maybe a little green. No, I don't know. You didn't ask for green. Okay, Holly. All right, Holly. <laughs> Wait, let's get my black here. All right, here we go. I gotta tilt it just a little. Okay, so again, my pen, I think I need to find another pen. This one's getting a little worn, I think. Okay, so she wanted purple and this is blue-gray. Come back here, blue-gray. All right, so I'm going to put down some blue-gray in the tray. Water brush. And a little purple, she said. Let me get a clean. Oh, I got some. I need to clean my brush off here. I'm missing a lot of chat, but let's see. Let's see. Do I want a little? Maybe just a little. It's very subtle. See, I want to keep it simple. Okay, so there's Holly D. All right, Holly, who do you pick? Are y'all having fun with this? <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I want to do one more thing here. I think I want I want this to be a little more curved. There we go. Just a little bit of a little curve on that edge. And maybe a little curl down here. Let's give it a little fancier. I don't know. I'm playing. Okay. Happy hump day, Kalora. 
All right, Holly D. All right, next. Um, you like to watch it? I don't know. It's just I thought it would be something fun to do, guys. I thought it would be something fun to do. What pen? I'm using different ones, CB. I'm using the Food A Touch. And I'm also using, um, well, for the letters themselves, a um, Sharpie, the uh, Super Tip. Sharpie, Sharpie Super Tip, which is getting a little, um, I need to find another one. Let's see. Is that black or is that brown? I can't tell. I think it's black. Let me do a test. Yeah, because uh, I'm wearing these out, so we'll see. I'll try another one here. That's what I'm using, though, for black letters. But And you can pick a color. You can pick a color if you'd rather have a color word. Okay, so um, Holly, where's Holly? Where's Holly? She probably said, and I looked away for a second. All right. Who did you pick, Holly? No, no, the girl gets to pick, like, if she picked Lo Lois, Lois gets to pick the colors. Oh, well, then pick somebody that's here. Is, if Lori's left, then pick somebody that's here, Holly. Please pick somebody that's here. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Kimberly K, my watch keeps telling me to breathe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, there she is. Lori is there. Lori's not gone. Did you pick Lori Loves Montana? Then what? All right. So, Lori, what color? Do you want your name in black or a color? Okay, Lori's here. Okay, Lori. I got her. I see her. Lori, what color? You want your name in black or a color? Or do you want a word? It doesn't have to be your name. It can be a word. I'm writing I'm writing it down on a post-it note so I remember who's who. Okay, so Lori loves Montana. Black, and do you want your name? Do you want Lori? Y'all be thinking of this, people. Be thinking. <laughs> it's, take, it's taking me longer to get answers from you guys than it is to do the name. <laughs> she wants it in black. Do you want your name, Lori? Okay, I'm going to go with the name because I'm not getting any answers. So we're going with it. And do you want a flower and a color? Pick a, pick a, um, oh, I got something on that. Let's go on the back side of that. Um, okay. And again, I'll go in here with my food A, kind of fix anything up that I don't like. Or once, I, I shouldn't say don't like, but, you know, want to get any rough edges. Okay, um, your name, and do you have a color, a flower? They're very simple, guys. I'm keeping it very simple. I just thought this might inspire you to try. I thought it might inspire you to try with just some super tip Crayola or some, you know, some uh, Tombos or Artist Loft. <laughs> bye sue thanks for stopping in okay so uh black and any color okay so we'll go with purple <laughs> my show's not for everybody we take rabbit trails just saying not apologizing it is what it is okay so i want to do some of these little leaf things here And thanks for the likes from the people that do like it. <laughs> oh, the text you just sent. The text you sent me a, oh, 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 you sent me a text. Oh, sorry, Jan. <laughs> I'm looking at, what kind of text? I, I see what you're saying now. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Janet did Edward Scissor. <laughs> Janet's working on. Okay, so for those of y'all that don't know, I'm going to lighten this up, Janet. I'm going to take a picture of it. <laughs> Janet doesn't lighten. Janet doesn't, doesn't. Well, she does more than she used to. Wait, let me go into my pictures because I'm going to, I'm going to brighten that up for you, Janet. <laughs> Janet's practicing along. Is anybody else practicing along? All right, let's see. Let's crop this down just a little. Let's crop this down. Let's brighten this. It's so dark, Janet. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. Just so we can see it. Okay, that's better. I think we can see it better. All right, so Janet, um, <laughs> I call I call her husband Edward Scissorhands because because of the time that he chopped down one of her her bushes. But look, Janet's working on it. <laughs> oh, good job, Janet. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Where did we have fun here, people? It's fun. It's fun. Okay. So Lori, who do you pick, Lori? <laughs> and I'll probably put these on a little black card stock for you guys. You guys. Throw in a little something, something. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. Where's Lori? Lori? Who do you pick in? It's good fun. Exactly, guys. Now everything has to be a, a serious. I mean, I don't have to do oil painting every week. You know, we can have some fun and just do something. Oh, you wanted me to laugh. Thanks, Janet. You're so sweet. Thanks, Jersey. Hi. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the chat does move super fast. Okay, so Lori. Oh, thanks, Jay Weber. Oh, uh, Lori picked somebody yet? All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep moving. She picked Kimberly. Kimberly 557, because there's a bunch of Kimberly's. Which Kimberly? And Kimberly, are you the, I don't know which Kimberly. I guess I only saw Kimberly 557. Is there another Kimberly there? Oh, let's see. She said, okay, it is Kimberly 557. All right, Kimberly, do you want, um, your name or a word. Y'all be thinking of this. Do you want your name, a word? Do you want it in black or a color? Okay. So what do you want, uh, Kimberly? Do you want your name, Kimberly? She, I think she said yes. Okay, Kimberly it is. And then pick a color of a flower or a little leaf or something. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put Kimberly. I haven't seen anything else. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Wait, the, again, I'm trying to do it in the thin. I need to do it in the thicker. Let's see. Do I want a swirly bit? What do I want to do? Let's see. And while I'm doing this, guys, I'm not looking at chat, <laughs> in case you didn't know. <laughs> Just a little lettering, and then I go back in here with my food A and any little things I need to fix. Okay, let's go ahead and carry this over that way. And then we'll put, uh, did she say a color? Green leaf. Okay, green leaf. That's a little, let's see, do I have a, I think I want a little bit darker, but not too dark. Let's do a, let's do this olive color like this. Let's do, there we go. So I'm just scraping, you know, just putting some out here on a tray and then my water brush. Let's 
see? Simple. Simple. I'm going to a little darker. I'm going to put a little bit more on here. Like a little stem. Or a little, yeah, a little uh, vein. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's just something fun to do. Not everything has to be, you know, serious. That's serious. Okay, let's let's fix I'm gonna fix this little. There we go. All right, Kimberly. Who do you pick, Kimberly? <laughs> Who do you pick? All right. Get another card. We'll do this for a few more minutes. Or, you know, in 30 more minutes. I've got probably another five or six or something here cut. I just thought this would be, like, chill. The weather has been so crappy here lately. I mean, like, rainy, foggy, misty, dreary. I'm trying to be very optimistic and positive during these stormy days. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cheshire Cat Dar. All right, Dar. Well, I call her Cat, but yeah. And guys, if you know I do not have your address, please mail me your address. Please email me. Here, let me put my email in here again. Whoops, I didn't click the thing here. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. Cat. Cat. Oh, cat. <laughs> I don't know if you want dar. Do you want a word? Do you want cat? Thanks, Journey of Crafting. Thanks for stopping in. Nice to meet you. Please stop in again. Aw, I'm glad you had fun. Been yucky in Virginia. Yeah, that whole line of storms like cut across all across the south. And yeah. Yeah, Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. I don't think she's here. She might have stepped away. So you're going to have to pick somebody else. Pick somebody else, Kimberly. If she shows up, we'll get her, but <laughs> I don't see her. I don't see a cat. So, Kimberly, pick somebody else. Bueller, Bueller. Don't email me, people. I'm trying to make this fun for everybody in the chat. If you're not having fun, don't email me. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, CB, all right, CB, do you want CB, <laughs> do you want a word? Black with the flower, do you want CB, or do you want Carol? CB or Carol? Do Bueller. Yeah, for sure, Kathy. Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> All right, so CB, Carol. Okay, I think I will do Bueller. I think that would be good just to have that on hand. That's a good idea, Kathy's World and Friends. <laughs> I don't know if I follow you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write your name down too. Go find you later. Kathy's world and friends okay i'll go hunt you up when i hunt up the joy of crafting or journey of crafting rather okay so now we're gonna do carol all right here we go Did you say what color flowers, CB? Did you say what color flowers? I missed it. I'm sorry. Uh, 
touch this up real quick. <laughs> Any color? Okay, we'll do some. We'll do some purple here. I'm just putting down a little color using a water brush. Oh, let me clean my brush a little. It has a little green in it still. If y'all don't know, if you've never seen CB's work, CB can is an amazing artist herself. She doesn't do YouTube. She needs to. She needs to, but she doesn't. Okay, I'm going to do, while, while uh, CB's picking somebody, I'll do this in purple. I'm going to do it just because we've been doing it in black. I'm going to do a, a one in purple. <laughs> CB, pick, pick somebody's uh, CB. <laughs> Carrie Ann, okay. Carrie Ann, do you want your name? Do you want a word? <laughs> I should do that on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carrie Ann. <laughs> Do you want your name or a word? Uh. <laughs> Black writing, simplify pink flower. You want Carrie Ann? I'm work I'm going with it unless you tell me otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, does she have a capital A? Yeah. I think I need another N thing there. Does it look like an M? That kind of looks like an M. I'm going to do that over. I don't like that way that M looked. I'm going to do that over. I think I'll make a bigger A. Connect that like that. And what kind of flower did she say? Uh, and did she say any type of color? I didn't see a color of flower, so we'll go we'll go with purple. I didn't see it. Sorry for the squeak. <laughs> there we go. Oh, pink. She said pink. <laughs> she got a purple. It's a light purple. <laughs> Light purple. I like how this um, this comes through that letter there. 
And then I think this A needs a little tail on it. Kind of like that connected like that. Almost could make this a loop too. No, because then it might not look like two words. Okay, Carrie Ann. All right, Carrie Ann, who do you pick? Who do you pick, Carrie Ann? We're just having some fun, guys. It's nothing serious. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to cut some more card stock. I think I've done, I don't know. I thought, I, was, I thought about doing like 15 or 20. That's how many stamps I have. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Don't email me, people. Don't email me. <laughs> Okay, so Carrie Ann, who do you pick? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> you like that crafting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, people truly do email me, Jersey Crafter. Not as much as they used to. I still get, I still get it, you know, and a lot in comments and in email. Like, um, you know, that's why I like to talk, start uh, some of my. I don't say it every time, but this is a chat show. It's a live chat with live people. It's a chat show. So, what kind of messages do I get? You chat too much. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious to me. Okay. All right. So uh, Carrie Ann picks stacks, Amelda. Okay. So, and I don't think I have your address uh, anymore, Amelda. I think you moved. So make sure you send me your address if you want it. Now, guys, if you if somebody picks you and you don't want to me to mail it to you, just that's fine. I, don't send me your address. <laughs> Okay, so Stax, Amelda, do you want your name or a word? <laughs> uh, yes, I know. People just don't have enough stuff to do in the day. <laughs> Same, that's what I say, trolls. They don't have enough to, they don't have anything creative to do. They need to come here and learn how to brush letter. <laughs> brush letter. Okay, so she is here, right? <laughs> there she is. Your name Amelda and a green leaf. Okay, so here we go. All right, so we got Amelda. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Do I want to do a? Do I want to do uh, one of these kind of eyes, or do I want to do one of these? I think I want one. Of, I don't want it to look like a J. You know, let me look over here in my book. Let's look at our book here. Let's look at our eyes. Um. H I. See, some of them look like L's. That one's pretty good. You know, I'm doing cursive, so we want them to look cursive. So maybe I need to do it like um. I don't know. What? How do you like to? You you want to? Well, I don't want to make her at because that's too much time. <laughs> Let's see here. I want to do like this. I don't want to look like a J. What about that? What do y'all think? Does that look good? And for an I. Bacalora. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like this. Okay, we'll go with that. See, now it kind of looks like a T. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. See, it looks like a J. Amelda, do you, you tell me. Does that look too much like a J? What do y'all think? Hmm. I don't know. 
none of them look none of them look like an eye to me. What about this one? How about that one? Does that one look better? Do you like that one, Amelda? Can you tell your watch that I don't need ice cream? <laughs> it's reminding you. Is yours is telling you not to eat ice cream? <laughs> All right, well, we'll go with this then. And some... Um, and we'll go with this and uh, a green leaves, green leaves. Okay, let's do a couple. Let's let's uh, up our game here. All right, so let's put some. Uh, let's do a little more. We're just gonna. It's all practice here, people. All right, so let's do some. Uh, I'll put some couple of leaves here, and then I'll put um, some veins in it. Let's do down here. Let's see. Like that. All right. All right now. Let's put a little. I think that's okay. What do y'all think? You like it? Okay. All right. Let me get my little food a here, and let's just. Close up. All right. All right. I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna mount them on black cardstock too, guys. I won't do that for y'all now because it's just too, you know, that would really be tedious. You wouldn't. You won't know the emails I get over that. <laughs> but like, here's one I did for uh, Jeannie. And I put it on black cardstock. See how that looked. Wait here. See how that makes it pop out. <laughs> yeah, you don't know the emails I get for that one, people. <laughs> I don't ever really. I don't care, guys. <laughs> I want to have fun while we do it, and um, that's the uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so stacks, Amelda. Who do you pick? Oh, I'm gonna have to cut some more cards, guys. I, I'm out of cards. All right, let me uh, let me get some more uh, card stock. We'll do a few more because I'm having fun with it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, most of the time I just ignore it, guys. You know. All right, so I'm gonna cut two at a time here. And this is just uh, I think it's nine. Might be ninety weight. Could be sixty weight. So, um, I'm and I'm basing the size of these off of my envelopes. <laughs> my envelopes are this size. I'll trim these down a little bit more so I can mount them on the black card for you guys. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm glad you're liking it. We could do some sketching. Y'all want to draw some animals? I mean, I can't do a, can't do a bunch of animals today for giveaways, but I could do some sketching. <clears throat> Can do some sketching. We'll do. We'll finish these up, and then we'll do some. How about some pen and ink? Some bi big pen sketching. You know, I want to do some big pen sketching. All right. So let's do these real quick. All right. So stacks. Did you pick somebody? I'm looking, scrolling, glancing, looking. Searching, waiting. <laughs> oh, all right. So it's Christine. They picked you, Christine. Your name. Do you want CL? Do you want CL or Christine? What do you want? Where's my where's my squirrel? <laughs> you want CL or Christine? Christine. Okay. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Okay. I'm just writing them on my little squirrels. Squirrel. 
Okay, we'll do a few more. Black with purple leaves. Okay, black with purple. Everybody likes it, but the black does stand out, right? It does stand out with purple. Okay. All right, so let's tilt it just a little. <clears throat> Got my little pad, my little thing right there. All right, here we go. Here we go. And purple. Okay, so let's put some purple here. Let's see. Let's do up here. Maybe now I want one more. There we go. Hey, cat and paste. Bye, Jean. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Okay, so Christine, now let's take my food A. Where is it? And let's just make sure there's no little bumpy bits. Christine came out pretty good there. <laughs> Okay, so Christine, C.L. Aldridge. And if y'all don't know, Christine, C.L. Aldridge has color books on Amazon. Just put in C.L. Aldridge and you will find her color books for sale on Amazon. Cat and Paste. She's also a Christine. Okay, Cat and Paste. You want Christine in black? I'm writing my little notes here. I got a little system going now. I got a little assembly line going now. <laughs> Cat and paste. Christine. Okay, yes. Um, Christine, do you want it in black letters? And what color leaves? Bye, Carrie Ann. Sleep well. And I haven't heard any updates from Carrie Ann on the fires in Oz. Did she give an update today? You're welcome, Chris uh, CL. So I'm guessing we want it in black letter. And what color? No update. Thanks, Colleen. Thanks, Colleen. Colleen needs to be a mod. Black with pink, okay, and you want and Christine, right? Same as uh, okay. Let me tilt it here. That might have been a little big loop, but we're gonna go with it. Spell it right, yeah. What color did she say? Pink. Okay. There we go. Hi, Judy. And again, guys, here's my email. If you want your if you want your name, email me your address. Okay, I like that. You can do other things too. 
you can do, you know, like I showed you on the first one here where we practiced on here. See, I did it with black letter and then put the color to it. So you can do all kinds of things. Okay, so that's Christine, cut and paste. All right, who do you pick, Christine? Um, let's see, who else am I missing? Melissa, Devin Rex. Uh, okay, cut and paste, who do you pick? Pretty in pink, yeah. <sighs> okay, Ashley. Ashley. <clears throat> Ashley McDowell. Is that who it is? Ashley McDowell. Okay. Ashley? What how what any any Black and red. Okay. Oh, let's do something a little different then. Okay, Ashley. All right, Ashley. Here we go, Ashley. I kind of imagine it. And also, guys, remember, I'm doing it kind of fast. According to the experts, you want to really go slow. All right, let's see. Gonna clean up some of the little edges there. Okay, let's do let's do some little red flowers. If it doesn't turn out, we'll just uh, we'll just start over. Let's do another red. Let's get a red here. It's not working so good. I think they re use that red up. Here's another one. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do some little. Let that sit for me. Let that dry. Okay, let's go with the light. Well, let's go with that same thing. Oh, thanks, guys. I just wanted to have some fun with you guys. You know? All right, let's put a little bit of stem. I thought, you know, it might inspire you to try. Might inspire you to try to do something fun. Okay, Ashley McDowell, who do you choose? We'll do we'll do three or four more. We'll do, we'll go for about five or ten more minutes. I'll show them all to you guys. Yes, on Instagram. Yes, Instagram is fine. Message me on Instagram. You have my Instagram. We follow each other on Instagram. I think. All right, who do you pick, um, Ashley? Who do you pick? We'll do a few more, and then I'm going to go on to drawing some, playing with some pen and ink or something, because I'll get emails. No, I don't care. <laughs> We've been doing this for a couple hours, so. Scrap chick Colleen. Oh, Colleen. What color? Colleen, you want your name in black, and what color? Colleen, 
Do you want leaves, flowers? <laughs> Colleen went, yay! <laughs> okay. I th we'll, end with, we'll end with Colleen. We'll do this one. We'll do this, and then I'll show you all the ones. So, Colleen, uh, you want your name in turquoise, or do you want the flowers in turquoise? Do you want your name in turquoise? A daisy. Okay, so you want a, your name in turquoise and a daisy? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, you want the flowers in teal? Be more specific. <laughs> I don't know which you want because you know we got a 10 second lag. So when I say do you want you want your name in teal and you go flowers. <laughs> Sign in the middle, turquoise, all right, black letters, all right, and then teal flowers. Okay, here we go. We're rolling with this. Oh, I got that too close. Got to start that one over. Let's start that over. <laughs> I am spelling this right. One L E E N, I hope. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, I got it right. Now I want, you want a um, teal daisy, a teal daisy right in the middle. Is that, am I right? <laughs> what do we put in the middle if we do a blue, a teal daisy? What about a center? All right, daisy. Let's see, how are we going to work this? Maybe off the O? I'm trying to picture it in my head, Colleen. I can't touch the black, it'll move. I don't know, it might look more like a sun ray. <laughs> I don't know, Colleen. <laughs> you know what it looks like? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> it looks like he's a little running letter. Little running man. <laughs> Okay. All right. There you go, Colleen. <laughs> My eyes are watering now. Oh, okay. So let me show you guys what we did. We did a little practice here. We did a little, I mean, we had a couple that didn't turn out. Okay. So we did a little practice. All right. Let me show y'all uh, real quick. Let's pile this up. And I will put those on black cardstock. I do have a lot of black card stock. I'll show you the books that we use. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's put that over there. Show you what the ones we did. I'm going to make a spot here, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, look.
let's move this out of the way. Oh, I think I should sketch. I might sketch on this. I might sketch on this. We'll see. All right, let's move all this. All right, the two books I showed earlier were Calligraphy Made Easy by Ashley Gardner and Ultimate Brush Lettering Guide by Peggy Dean. So these two um, are awesome books. I won't flip through them again because I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, uniquely cute Colleen. So anyway, uh, I show I did a little flip of them earlier. You can find them on Amazon, I'm sure. So those are the books that we had for inspiration. Uh, let's put this up out of the way, my little tin tray out of the way. All right, so let's show you what we did. Um, Colleen. Well, I should take, let me, uh, let me put these on the back so this looks better when I, looks better when I show them. Colleen, Ashley, Cut and Paste, Christine, C.L. Aldridge, Christine, Mama Four, and I already put hers on black. Just kept it real simple, guys. Amelda Stacks. Well, her, her nickname's Stacks. Her real name's Amelda. Carrie Ann. C.B. Carroll. Kimberly 557. Lori Loves Montana, Holly D. Those little purple flowers need to be a little bigger. I want those little, little, little tops to be just a little more, more. There we go. That's better. Like little wheat, little wheat things. Okay, Sharon Marlowe. Thank you, Holly D. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you guys for the super chat. Very sweet. Thanks, thanks for the, post, the postage money. I appreciate it. Um, Laura Jersey Crafter. Thanks, guys. That's very that's very sweet. Julie Topaz. And Julie Topaz again. We did hers in two in we wanted to practice in a color and in um black and that's it those are all the ones we did today so i'll get these out. i've got some other uh thank yous oh thanks jersey crafter you guys thanks guys for the super chats uh, i also have some uh, other things to send out that i've been working on um throughout the week so I'll get all this out. What day is today? Today's Wednesday. I'll get them all. I'll get all the rest of my mail out by <clears throat> Saturday. So I'll get all these out by Saturday. So thanks, guys. All right. Let's see. What do I want to do? Let me get out one of my other giant sketch things here. <laughs> let's see. Well, I want to do something out of one of my old sketches. What is this? Uh, I don't know what that note is for. What do we have in here? Oh, this is uh, some ideas here. Oh, I love my... I want to, I think I want to draw another... We started doing an octopus on... Um, we started drawing... Well, painting an octopus on that collage we did a la week before last. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Thank you. I just like to make it fun. And uh, so anyway, we did, uh, but instead, because I tried to make the octopus legs too big, we ended up using a tree. Here, let me show that to you. All right, let me need some of this. I've got to make a space. Got to make a space here. Um. I put it here. This one that we did last week with the door. It's well, let me seal it. Let's back out. Let's back out for a minute. 
so this is what did we say it was uh 30 20 oh let me get my ruler i have a short janet ruler here i don't have my big janet ruler okay oh well let's see. so we did this last week that's it was like it was almost 20 it was like 19 and a half by 90 so i just said 20 by 20 so 20 by 20, we did this collage last week. And what I wanted to do is coming out of this door, I wanted octopus tentacles. But the octopus tentacles that I drew, <laughs> it was, I did them first, thinking, oh, I'll paint these octopus tentacles and with the suckers on them and then cut them out and put them on this vision I had. And I don't mean a literal vision. I just mean my idea. Um, and... Uh, but because it was so big, I went with a tree with little nests in it. And then here's the door. So we got a little door up here. So anyway, but ever since then, I've been, I want to draw some more octopus. Um, octopi? <laughs> I, want to, I want to draw some more octopi. So I am pulled this out. This is one of my portfolio things. And the first thing I said, it's not an octopus, but it was one of my lemurs. I love lemurs. Y'all know. So these are some of the things that I just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll draw another lemur. But what I did is I drew a whole bunch of octopi a while back with just, th these are just with the big, big ballpoint pen. Is that too dark? Did it get too dark? Let's see. Maybe I need to lighten it back up again. Right there we go. So I drew a bunch of um, these are just sketches when I want to sketch. And again, they're not they're not sketched in pencil. They're just sketched out with uh, a ballpoint pen. So I don't even know what else we have in here. I don't know why I have the idea of a lobster cafe. Who, where did we get this idea? Somebody was here. We were doing something about a lobster lobster cafe with lobster mugs. We were going to do something with lobsters. <laughs> I'm reading my notes here. We we're going to do something with this. Uh, this might have been a Society of Idea Collectors notes. Uh, what else? Do, okay, here's another one. So I sketched it with uh, sketched it with ballpoint pen and then went back in with uh, either a Sharpie or a food A or something and darkened it. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. This is how you put in a message, a more positive. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Are you trying to show somebody how to do it, Sharon? <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Christine. The bright colors remind me of Frida. Oh, thanks, guys. Oh, let's see what else I have in here. See, here's another thing with the lobster. Oh, uh, we were doing something with the person place that yeah, this had to be a society of idea collector. This was some kind of an idea because look, there's a mug with a lobster on it. I think that's what that was. So yeah, well, let's see what else I have in here. Some more, a starfish and an octopus or a squid. It's another one. There's some more. <laughs> uh, oh, and okay. Now these are from... Remember when we were doing uh, some, uh, I don't remember which who's, which book it was, but uh, the color pencil tutorial book, the color pencil step-by-step. -step. These were some of the sketches that we did for that book. Those. I'm just looking here, some feathers. Let's see what else we got here, guys. Hummingbird and frog. Okay, see, look, this is a lot of ideas here. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm looking for the rest of those uh, octopi. Okay, Colleen, remember the big, all right. So I don't ha I have it around here somewhere. Anyway, there's this big sketchbook. It's called the really big. It's not the, the little one that I have with the two-inch thick red pinky one. It's not that. It's a huge one. Kathy showed it on her show yesterday. Kathy Berg showed it on her show. Big bowl of streaming clam chowder and lobster. <laughs> Are you hungry, Judy? So anyway, um, 
this is a page out of that book. I was trying to fill that book. It was like, how many pages is in it? 500? That big, that huge, big hardback sketchbook that we got on Amazon years ago. I mean, I don't even remember how many years we got that one, Colleen. 600, 600 pages. Well, this is out of that book because <laughs> I recognize it. I don't know. I think we're trying to fill it. I think it was fill the sketchbook challenge. <laughs> this was, I tore it out. I like this page. I like it. I have no problem, guys. You just don't know. I have no problem taking apart a book in a, in a heartbeat. Here, this one, no, this is a different sketchbook. Okay, so these two, some of these are from some different sketchbooks. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, this one I think was from that one. There's some, some foxes. And then some of this is my samurai uh, samurai thing where I did this the samurai, um, Viking samurai, combining Vikings and samurai. What else do we have here? Oh, here's this is this was the uh, uh, second page of that. This was with no, this is a different one. Anyway, there's the Norse. That was my Norse page. Oh, here, there's some more lemur, Viking samurai lemurs. <laughs> Viking samurai lemurs. <laughs> Look at them. They're so cute. I love lemurs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, and then here, these are our robot cats. And these are alchemy's, uh, alchemy symbols for... See, this is some more stuff. This kind of stuff needs to go in my uh, composition book. I need to put this in my composition book. Maybe we'll take a minute and throw that in there. <laughs> Yeah, these are robot cats. And I write notes. See, this is how I, I don't necessarily have to write and draw everything. Um, their antenna are how they get electricity. You know, they, it has to have a story behind it. So instead of just getting electricity, you know how cats, you know, have, well, they have their, they, they, all right. So we have uh, furry pom-poms that have static electricity. That's where they get their electricity from. <laughs> they have uh, blue eyes that glow, red and yellow uh, light, light nose. And, yeah. And these have little rings around them. Now, I don't imagine these as, don't picture these as a traffic cones that somebody's played toss the ring on them. These are not traffic cones with toss the ring. These are... <laughs> Those would be glowing lights. Those would be glowing, um, glowing lights around <laughs> the electricity that they're static created. I see. I got the stories in my head. Okay. What else do we have? Okay. This was from some pig sketches that I did and I took them out of one book and I was moving them into another. Some pig, uh, pig butts, just some pig sketches. Are we having fun yet? Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, here's some more. Here's some cows sketches and a and a steer thing there. Don't ask me every single thing I was thinking of. Oh, I can't show you this. This is from a story. I'll show you real quick. This is from a story um, that I'm working on. Oh, here's some uh, feet studies. Here's, um, this is uh, those big stone statue, you know, the not statues. They're like big, they're just heads. These are huge. Like a person standing next to them might just be like this big. Have y'all seen those? Some of them aren't that big. Maybe, maybe the person might be about this big. <laughs> Pigs, yeah. But anyway, these are those um, those uh, big rock statues that are. I think they're in Central America. I have them. Olmec. 
Vera, Vera Cruz on the Gulf Coast of Mexico, six to 50 tons each. I drew some of those. Okay, wait a minute. What else do I have in here? I want to get to, uh, I do want to get to drawing some uh, octopi. I want to use some more sea creatures and creatures. Some uh, seahorses. <clears throat> a quick sketch. This is a quick sketch of one of those sea dragons. Hang on. I'm just digging for a minute. I got lots of notes on story. Th oh, well, here's some big paper. Let's just go with this big paper. I have some blank paper in here. We'll roll with that. Okay, let's, let's see. I want to draw some. Whoops, sorry, guys. What should we sketch? I kind of like some more octop octopi. Let's see here. You like looking through that? This is my old. Well, it's not that old. It's one of my. It's this size sketchbook. It's. I'm. I'll cover up my address, but this. It's this size. Whatever can fit in this size. That's. That's what's in here, in this little portfolio. I just pulled out a couple things, guys. I got. I got tons of stuff that are in. Um, in sleeves and stuff in here. All right. That. We'll. We'll. We'll do this just because we can let y'all have uh some other because i want this is what i wanted to do some octopi <laughs> plural uh i wanted to do some octopies um in that uh let's move all this i'll have to put all this away after a while but for now it's in my way so we'll, we'll sketch some things. I don't know if y'all have something you want to see sketched or something. We'll do that. I'll I need one of these. I might need a food a. I need a big pen. I don't know if I'll, I don't, I don't think I'm going to pencil anything. I think I'll just, uh, I'll just sketch it with a big pen. What else? I'm going to get some of this out of my way. Way in my way. All right. Um, We'll zoom in one. Just something to do, guys. This is not a not a big project or anything. Uh, an octopus in space. Yeah. Hi, Laura. Uh, I think I've done that in a collage. Um. Let me let me get my iPad so I can get some reference. Octopi. I'll be right back. doing a little bit of procreate practice not too much but a little bit of procreate um i did play with my one of my collage or i am playing with one of my collages in procreate the um, the one that we did that that week um let's see now what was i going to do oh i was going to go to uh octopi no i think i might have some pictures let me see from the last week, from the week we were going to uh, paint some. I might have some in there. I might just have tentacles. Let me go look some up. If y'all missed it earlier, we did uh, brush lettering. For a couple hours. We'll, we'll sketch for about, I don't know, an hour or so. It's only 11. Octo. Let 
Let's find something cool. Let's find some good ones. Some real tentacly ones. There's one laying down. I like this one. It has a lot of... Uh, this one has his face showing more. Let's see. I want some where their suckers are showing. Like a lot of them are one, like one side of their body or the other. I want one that has a, has their face. And some suckers. I'm looking, guys. Don't email me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's so many good ones. Let's see. Oh, that's a good one, too. All right. I got a couple here. Let's see. <laughs> I'll just pose, play with this one. All right. So what I just like to do is just sketch them out. Um, and here's a thing. So I'll give you all some tips here. So if you want to, um, eh, maybe I don't like that one as much. I can't see many of the suckers. What I, what you can do with a ballpoint pen, this will help you practice not, I don't want to say not being afraid. Um, forward the nest. <laughs> um, for one thing, it shows up on camera better than if I just do it in pencil. And uh, so you almost just want to scribble. You know, you can almost just scribble your shapes out and and just kind of get them, you know, just kind of mapped out and this this just frees it's it, remember it's just sketching and playing this is not if you want to have a finished piece from this then what you'll you'll you can uh either go into you know your oh wait that's really bright hang on guys where's that brightness coming from i need to turn that down i even notice how bright that is there Ooh, there we go um i'm gonna have to keep moving up and down i think but it, it just keeps your hand, just keep your hand moving. Try to draw like the, you know, the whole thing without even lifting, without even lifting your uh, pen, you know. My little head might be a little big for this guy here. And what you can do is, is just, it, it makes you, your hand free. You free your hand up and just start playing with the shapes. And you're not worried, and you can just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it better than that, other than just, it, it takes the fear out of it. And if you, if you just want to, you know, just let, maybe you want to do this whole thing just so you can draw one, one arm one arm of uh of a of an octopus you just want to you want to know how the suckers are laid out um you know how how big are they on the arm and if you look at these kind of things as just sketching and playing rather than i'm going to do a finished drawing you can use these later if you go into Photoshop or, you know, there are people that use light boxes. I don't use light boxes anymore because I gave mine to Cameron. I never was really using it anyway. I know I've told you all the Cameron story. He was here doing a, a school project. This was a couple years ago. He was doing a school project. And he was doing some manga. I still have the picture in my phone. I don't know. I think I retook the picture because it was in my old phone. But he was doing this manga. Um, I think there was three teenage manga kids on a on, sitting on a on a wall, and he and they were really cute. He worked really hard. Some of y'all were here when he did that, and he worked really hard on it. <laughs> this is another reason to make sure you want you want to make sure your. Uh, your uh, pins are waterproof 
So he, he had it all sketched out and drawn. And I think he used, uh, and he used Copics, but he wanted to outline some, he was going to outline some things. So I had these new pins, outliner, liner pins, and they were like faux Copics. They weren't real Copics. I think, I don't know if my Copics were out. I forget the what, how, why. But I said, well, I just got these at Hobby Lobby, and they said waterproof on them. They said waterproof on the pen. <laughs> so I said, here, here, use these. So he goes, he uses them and then he goes to use the Copics and they weren't waterproof. I forget exactly the, the whole situation of how it happened, but he used the pins I told him to use and they were not waterproof. He had to redo that whole piece. He was very upset. He was upset with Nana. <laughs> he was upset with Nana. I said, "Oh, um, it's okay. Um, here, uh, take my uh, take my uh, light box home with you, and just trace it, so you don't have to worry." Because he didn't have a light box at the time. Uh, you know, you have those thin padded ones now. Uh, I think Candy's the one that sent me mine the, to to replace it. But my light box was it was one of those old ones that was about this thick about as big as this table here, that thick, with those fluorescent lights, and you held the button, and it went and lit up, you know? You know what kind of I mean. <laughs> oh, and also when you're using big pens, you do need to have a Kleenex kind of handy because the ink will kind of build up on the tip, and it can make little blobbies. So if you don't want those little blobbies... Yes, I know. So I said, um, you can have my light box. And he took it too, boy. He took it. Because he had that project had to be done like I think by Monday or something. <laughs> I don't remember. So anyway, he took my light box. And it was, the light box was like 30 years old. I think I had it, I had to have got it in Alaska, I think. And that would have been in the, like between 83 and 86. So that light box, it was an old one, and I never had to replace those light bulbs ever in 30 years. Never replace those light bulbs. <laughs> so anyway, and then I think it was either Connie or Kenny sent me one of those pads. I mean, we've come a long way. Where is that pad? I just used it. Well, I had it out, so it's not in the box. What do I do with this? Right here. I just used it. Oh, well. But anyway, it's about it's about this size. A little bit smaller than this. It's about this big. And it's like paper thin. Paper wafer thin. Light pad. It's like a light pad. Of course, you can use your iPad, too. But um, anyway, so... <laughs> So I ended up with that one, but at the time, you know, uh, poor Cameron had to redo his whole project. <laughs> so anyway, and you can play with it and just make, they can make them funny. You can make them whatever. You can make them whatever. And then of course, if you're, uh, you know, now that I have the, um, what do you call it? Um, my, my new iPad with Procreate, you know, you can do a lot of this kind of stuff in digital. Ask Eileen. So, yeah, Desert Nana, they, go on Amazon and look at light pads. I was going to show you mine, but I had it out. So it's in a stack right now. It's under a stack. Because it's not in the box. Because I was using it, so. There's something. Well, oh, wait a minute. I'm going in. I found it. Hang on. I found it. I got it. And so you just plug it into your computer or, well, you can plug it into any light, you know, USB. <clears throat> Let me just plug it in real quick here. So you can see. Whoops, it's upside down. Just don't put it in upside down. Uh, 
Hang on. It's got three settings. One, two, three. And it's much brighter in person <laughs> than it is on camera. But you can get them on Amazon. And they're not expensive at all. And you can just you can just plug it into any USB. I just plugged it into the computer, into the laptop, just to show you. So, yeah. Has a time space portal. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody about my time space portal under my desk. What are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, you can just do all kinds of little things and just make it kind of, oh, oh, it's so cute. Oh. And just kind of, you know, you can shade and play with it or whatever. And then you can go back in. Let's see. Let me take a food day eh? and put in some. And this is just quick, guys. I just want to kind of inspire you to try some stuff. And if you just use a big pen, then you're not afraid. Um, you know you're not going to be able to erase. So just lightly sketch. Lightly sketch. And just look how messy. Let me see. Can you see? Look how messy. But if you do hundreds of these, you're going to get good at drawing. Just saying. <laughs> do a few hundred. Keep some of the ones you like. You know, keep them in a in just, you know, a cardboard portfolio or, um, you know, anything. Just so you can kind of practice. And this is a also, you know, probably not this big, but if you if you go to a museum, uh, the aquarium, you, you want to draw real fast like this because you don't have time. The animals are moving. You know, you, you don't have time to, you don't have too much time to stay, don't move. See, I have an old light box that's 24 with those has a wooden frame. Mine didn't have a wooden frame. Mine was all plexiglass. So yours must have been really, well, either yours was all, really old Judy or handmade. I actually got mine, I think I got it at uh, Blaine's in Alaska, in Anchorage. <laughs> it was old. It took a second. You had to hold the, you had to hold the little, you know, it had a little push button and you held it in until it lit up. And uh, you held it in till it lit up and uh, then let go of the button and it stayed lit, you know? You know what I mean? It had, it had to be like fluorescent bulbs in there. I never had to replace them. <clears throat> Nana. Nana says, I guess I'd have to try death ones in the museum. Oh, my gosh. I want to go to the Fern Bank and take my sketchbook and, and sketch. But, um, well, that's how I got Cam to uh, not be afraid to draw in. Uh, now, let me draw up here or down here. An octopus eye really is kind of like, uh, it's more like this. It's kind of, his lid is kind of like this. And he has kind of some kind of a square kind of, his pupil's kind of like this. You know, it, that's kind of more the eye of him. But I thought that just looked cute with the little dots. Oh. But anyway, that's how I got Cam to uh, not be afraid to um, draw in public. Was we went to, and I think it was the, I think the first time, it, I, it had to be the, no, maybe it was the museum. It was either the museum or the, no, it was the, it was the aquarium. It was the aquarium because people were commenting to him. He was nervous. He was nervous about um, drawing in public, even though he'd always he'd ha he'd been in AP art and all this. You know, he, it's not like he had never drawn in front of his peers or anything. But uh, he was real nervous about. Um, hang on, thinking for a second. He was real nervous about letting people that he didn't know uh, 
I'm going to go back to my pen for a minute. Uh, draw and see, watch him draw. I think I'm going to do some little more in depth suckers here. And, um, and I said, no, you, we're going to, we're going to sketch. We're going to draw. You're going to draw in, in front of people. And he was really nervous. He's kind of, he's an introvert, you know? And, uh, so <laughs> people start coming up to him and saying, oh, that's really good. How do you do that? Or, and he was just drawing, you know, the, the fish and the whatever we were drawing. And, uh, and so he got a few compliments and that's all it took. He's not afraid to draw in front of anybody now. He'll, you know, like, remember he would, he would draw in front of you guys. He would draw here, draws manga and his, you know, different things. <clears throat> You're drawing a potato. <laughs> well, that's kind of like their heads look like that. <laughs> Mark, Mr. Potato Head. Maybe I need, what are those? Oh, let me think. Let me look on my phone here because I want to keep that. So what is it, Mr. Potato Head Head? head? Do y'all remember Mr. Potato Head? Did any of y'all have a Mr. Potato Head when you were little? Let me look it up. I forgot. Had a little hat. What else did they have? Mr. Potato Head. <clears throat> there was a little hat um, and glasses and a mustache, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's taking me to Amazon, of course. You know. <laughs> We need to put put a little hat. Let's put a little hat. Wait, let's go with this one. Let's just put a little hat on him. One of these little derbies, you know, a little derby hat. A little derby and a... A thicker marker here. Oh, and I'm also working on something in my mural room. Y'all know I have a mural room in the guest room next door. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to say what it is yet because I'm still working on it. <laughs> All right, so got a little hat. What else? I don't really want any big, I could put a big ear on them, but because uh, they almost look like they have ears, don't they? They almost look like they have big ears. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, the one on the art scroll, that was, uh, that one's blue. That one is, uh, uh, what was his name again? What happened was, is uh, Pedro. There was a guy named Pedro who had uh, a Twitter account that was uh, similar to my name, and everybody was uh, everybody was tweeting out Pedro, and he's kept he kept saying why why are you people keep messaging me or uh, not hashtag but uh, you know tagging him tagging him in in their uh, in the tweets. He just had the name. Yeah, Pedro. <laughs> anyway, so it was just. Uh... But anyway, so after that, Cam was not afraid to draw in front of anybody when he, you know, got some compliments for his drawings. But anyway, and again, guys, this is just kind of something fun to try. How many of you have tried to do ink drawings without no erasing? Just, you know, because you scribble it. You scribble it and then you fill, you know, you can just fill in um, and ignore the lines that aren't working. You just ignore them. You know, just keep working over and over and over. And this is just awesome way to practice. I'm telling you. You know, a lot of people go, well, I wish I could do da, 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 da. Well, have you done X, Y, Z? Well, no. Uh, yeah, what, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? 
I mean, it takes practice. I mean, I, I, I could practice, you know, stuff like this for the rest of my life and still not get as good as I would wish I could be. But wishing won't do it. Okay, bye, Ashley. Thanks for participating in our little name thing today. Don't forget to email me if you want it. and I'll, I'll throw in some other little goodies. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of practice. I mean, you can have all the talent you, you, you think you don't have. But if you don't sit down and do it, you know. So does anybody else ever try to sketch with just a ballpoint pen? Well, I'm adding a food A for the thickness. Or the, you know, this is the Sharpie. Uh, just to, for thick. So I'm not just using it all up. I could sit there and color that all in. Color that whole thing in with a ballpoint pen. But, uh, yeah. But and it's really relaxing. You know, you should always keep a sketchbook. I say keep a sketchbook handy, like you know, um, if you're if you're watching TV or uh, you know, watching some kind of documentary on YouTube, you know, just just it doesn't have to be for anybody. It doesn't you don't have to post everything on Instagram. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You can just uh, you know, you can just uh just sketch for yourself because you you like it. You like to do it. Well, see, CB. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> but nobody has to see it, CB. Why are you afraid if you don't, if no one's going to see it? If no one's going to see it, <laughs> why are you afraid? Let's see if it's okay. I can send you my address. Oh, that's right. On, on uh, IG. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, thank you. I used to graffiti with Bic notebooks. Anything that was one color had to be drawn on. See, Judy? Now, when was the last <laughs> faithful mass but the little chicken? <laughs> I love you, faithful. Um <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, Hubs just asked me if I want, he wants to pick it. Do I want Burger King? I'm not eating any Burger King or, or McDonald's. Um, uh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He, he must be being funny because he knows I'm trying to eat healthy. So he's trying to get me to, you know, <laughs> um, I'll tell you how tracing does help you with your practice. Um, hang on, let me get this one leg going here. And I've shown it before in a fashion magazine. And I, I did cut kind of cut this one up because I uh, used some of this for collage. Let me get some of my... Okay, we're going to go on another rabbit trail, people. Don't email me. Do not email me <laughs> for a rabbit trail. All right, here's a good way to practice people. Now, you can't, you know, you can do this with other things too, but it's it's particularly good for people. All right, I'm going to leave my octo for a minute. <laughs> Bye, Debbie. Um. Sorry, I'm kind of in the zone here with this. Kind of in the zone here. And then this one's going to come around this way. Um, <clears throat> a fashion magazine. Here is a good way, and I have all this stuff is... This is our, well, other than this, I don't know what we're doing with this. This was some other project. But if you have a fashion magazine, 
I'm going to show you a couple things to do to practice your fashion magazine. Uh, I mean, your your figures. Oh, this is uh, how to draw what you see, not what you think you see. A little example. Okay, so all this is from our fashion magazine uh, tutorial. So if you want to, I can go right away. If you want to practice your shapes and see how bodies look, let me see if I have a, any blank paper in here. This is a whole bunch of ones we've done. Here's a here's a here's a, a piece of I wanted a piece of blank paper. So find you a a, a, sh um, a shape. Find you a body. Let's find someone. All right, here's one that we did. Um, let me get a sharpie. So here's what you need to do this practice. You need a fashion magazine because it's it's about people. You need some tracing paper. And a Sharpie, a big, bold one, one of these, okay? That's all you need to practice this. Y'all with the tour? <laughs> Lisa, too late, I just emailed you. <laughs> so what you want to do is two different things. One is you want to take the, the body here and find all the shapes. For instance, here's an oval. There's a circle, her elbow here. There's another circle, her ankle, her knee, if you could get to her knee. Um, and then here's some cylinders. Okay, here's a square. So just like we did here, you find all the shapes. Okay, now here's where it, here's where you really start to see is when you take and you trace one. Well, let's see if I got one. That one's got a suit on. Let's see. If you if you trace, okay, this one might be good to show you. When you trace them, you start to see a few things other than the shapes. These are directly off of a fashion magazine, like these girls here. But look how look at the how the size of things and the proportion of things. This is exactly traced. Look how big her foot. Her foot is as big as her face. Because her foot is close to you. Her foot is sticking out close to you. But you would not probably draw it that way. If you were drawing her, you'd probably draw a little bitty foot, you know, maybe a big head, you know, you might draw a big head. But you probably wouldn't see that that foot is, is, is bigger than her face. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? So by doing this, it really helps you to see. It helps you to see things. And I don't even know when the last time we did this project. This is, you know, one of the older. It helps you to see how big things are, um, the proportion. You can see uh, how, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, when something's farther away than the other. <laughs> you start to see, you start to see things like that, that you wouldn't see. Now, another thing about Fash Magazine, like here, I'm sure she had a lot of lipstick on, you know, but you, you start to see um, the purport, uh, the perspective. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. I, I had proportion stuck in my head. Perspective. So again, if you just take some tracing paper and a Sharpie and do it, do, do a whole magazine. I don't even know what this one was from. Do a whole magazine. With some with tracing paper. Here's where we just did the sketch from one of them. And uh, draw your shapes. Find your cylinders and your circles. And look at the size of things. It'll help you see it. This is if this is not to do finished drawings. This the purpose of these is not to do finished drawings. It is so you can train your eye to see, to see shapes. Here's where we did some dividing of the faces. And and you'll start to see. Um, You'll just start to see things. Here's one where we went over with uh, a Sharpie or 
I think we did it twice with the Sharpie and with a, a color marker. And so if you go through a whole magazine and do this, it trains your eye hand coordination. Okay. So do I use any tracing paper like this for drawing them? No, but you know, you'll be able to just see, you know, divide your face. If there's the eyes, there's the bottom of the nose, there's the mouth. You'll, you'll just take a Sharpie and play with shapes. Just, you know, go in there and, and just, you know, here's the elbow there. You know, how big, look, here's her shoulder. Look, her shoulder in that sleeve anyway. Look, it's as big as her face. You know, a lot of times we, we don't realize. We don't realize how big things are. Right? I did this and then glued down my tracing in a smash and drag sketchbook. Very fun. There you go, Devin. Um, again, this one we've used and used and used. But uh, let's find some more. Here we go. Now, these sketches, <laughs> that, those lines, I think, are already, that was part of the magazine. Let's see. Kind of want some more bodies. I think we've used up this magazine. Well, here we go. So there's the face. But when you draw some person, look how, look, here's her shoulders. And I know her sleeves are extra long. But like, here's her torso. Here's her hips. Here's her leg. Here's her knee is somewhere in there. There's her foot. So if when you're doing this, here's her hand there. When you're doing this, you just real. Whoops, sorry, got off camera. And you can't even see that. You realize the the size of things. You realize the size of things when you do this kind of thing. So anyway, there's a little rabbit trail on the on the, how you can use tracing to help you see shapes and stuff. Okay, where were we? Back to Octo. <laughs> yeah, shoulder pads. I mean, you gotta you gotta consider the fashion part of it too. But um, but uh, anyway, <laughs> oh, oh my food. Eh? But lots of practice, lots of drawing. If you if you love drawing, you'll draw. If you like sketching, you'll sketch. If you like painting, you'll paint. If you like mixed media, you'll do that. You're welcome. It's just a you know another thing to to practice. This little arm I want coming around here. But pick something you like. Um, if you like drawing people, if you like drawing animals, um, if you like just even making up your fun animals, like I like doing those lemurs and you know. Um, whatever you like, you know, start with something you like if you want to start practicing because otherwise you're not going to want to stick with it. <clears throat> well, guys, I don't know. Do y'all have any more questions or comments or anything? Hubster better not be coming home with any hamburgers. At least not for me. I don't care what he eats, but I'm not. <laughs> he can get whatever he wants for himself, but don't be bringing me any hamburgers. I got, I'm going to go eat me a salad. I know y'all. Chick-fil-A is my uh, weakness. But even now with uh, trying to eat healthy, what I do is when I get a Chick-fil-A sandwich, I don't get fries. I don't, I don't order fries. I, I'm trying to walk a mile a day, just one mile a day, guys, just a mile. 
Well, actually, it's a mile point three because that's how far it is to the end of my street back into my street and back. It's one. It's a mile point three. So um, I do. Uh, I try to do that every day. I haven't done it for a couple of days because of the rain. So I'm hopefully I'm going to get out here as soon as I get done streaming. I'll probably go for my walk because it's not raining right now. I think it's supposed to rain later. Um, so I try to get in a walk every day. And I'm just really, I'm just trying to just eat more fruits, more vegetables. Eat, just eat healthy. Cut out the hamburgers. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Yeah, I'm going to make me a big salad. Like, uh, y'all have, did you remember the big salad on Seinfeld? Elaine and the big salad. Let me just go ahead and do this with this. Elaine and the big salad. Not quite that big, but I like me a big salad. <laughs> and uh, so just by walking a mile a day, and I've been working now, I think, let's see this, I'm into week six. So in six, no, wait. Yeah, six weeks. Six weeks of trying to eat healthy and walk a mile a day, I've lost 13 pounds. Not that I really needed to lose a lot of weight. I'm not saying, you know, I, oh my God, I had to go on this diet. Nothing, nothing like that. Um, but just a, that, that little bit, that little bit of cutting out French fries and, you know, trying to eat more salads and fruits and walking one mile a day. It only takes 20 minutes. It only takes 20 minutes to walk a mile briskly. I mean, I, I do walk, you know, I, I, I step, step out, you know, <laughs> I step out and walk kind of briskly. Um, but it only takes 20 minutes to walk a mile. You know, I, I just got too much. I got too settled in here uh, in my studio and not did, didn't do enough exercise. So just walk a mile a day is something. Thanks, guys. And I feel better. I just feel better because I feel like I'm, um, you know, moving. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not just sitting here all day. You know, and now, you know, and I don't listen to music or stuff when I'm walking. I just kind of like the quiet. But you can listen to music, you know, put in your your beats. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Just trying to live a little longer, you know, you know, stay a little healthy. And, and we all could, we all could do a little more of that, I think. So what do y'all think? How's Octo looking here? Potato, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head Octo. Oh, wait, what? This is a little hat. I like his eyes. I like his little bug eyes. Uh, Julie says, my daily goal is four miles, roughly 10,000 steps. I, oh, yeah, I, I, I try to make it 8,000 steps a day. I do try to do 8,000. But, you know, if you're at work and doing it, Julie, that's, you know, that's great. When I worked in visual merchandising, I literally walked 10 miles a day. No, no kidding. 10 miles a day. Uh, you know, decorating stores, three stories climbing up in the rafters to, you know, get supplies and stuff and hanging from ladders and hanging from ceilings and, you know, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of walking in retail, in, in that, in that retail. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. So... But anyway, guys, take a get your get a pen. Just it's just a ballpoint pen. Again, it starts. It can start getting a little gunky on the tip. So, you know, clean that off. But just you know, just play and sketch and don't be you know just don't be afraid of it and see what you can do. See what happens when you just get out and sketch.
And thanks, guys, for all the thumbs up. Thanks for everybody for stopping in. And I hope you all had some fun with the brush lettering and a little bit of sketching. And I, I will, I want, I want to show y'all so much my mural thing I'm doing, but I can't yet. I can't because it's for, it's actually for somebody. It's for somebody else's project that I'm supporting. I'll just say that it's for somebody else's project I'm supporting, and uh, and so I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing a mural. I'm doing something on my mural. It's a whole, my whole room in there is a mural room. It's all, it's just you know. If any of some of y'all have been here before, and I've shown some pictures of the mural room, and uh, <laughs> I'm doing a little something, something for that to support this project that someone is doing, and I'm just really, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I gotta finish it. I have to, I have to finish it. It's, it's not that big. It's not, it's not huge. It's not like a big wall or anything, but. Uh, it, it, and it's really coming along. Uh, all told, it'd probably take me, I said, I probably worked on it about, and it'd take probably all told about three hours worth of work. I've got an hour into it. So I probably have about two more hours into it. <laughs> and I hope the person likes it because it's kind of like, I don't know. I, I, was, I, was, I was having fun with it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's not that big, CB, but it's just fun. All right, so I want to hear what y'all are doing. If y'all want to promote a channel, if you don't want to promote your channel, promote somebody else's. Go ahead and, uh, and like Christine, I think she's still here. I told y'all she has color books on uh, Amazon. If y'all want to promote one, and they don't have to be here. If you just have somebody you want to promote that you like to watch. Who do you like to, and don't say me, put somebody else, put somebody else. Hi, Mary, that will promote Mary, Mary Altier, Jersey Crafters here, Colleen's here, the scrap chick, Colleen. Uh, yeah, CO is Christine there. Um, you know, uh, put somebody in there that you'd like to promote so that people are watching the recording. They can see um, the name of the person you're promoting. Um or if it's you, <laughs> they'll they'll see your name and can go click on your name and follow you too. I, I you know, I, I do like to promote other um I do like to promote other um uh, YouTubers. And so y'all go ahead and do that for a couple minutes while we're wrapping this up. I know Hub's just coming home with the hamburgers and he knows I'm not gonna eat it. Hopefully he just got it for himself. Hopefully he just got hamburgers for himself. I'm going to go make my big salad and go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, Laura, uh, Laura, Laura, I call her Laura Lou. Laura does. And there's Shauna. Shauna uh, and then Shauna says, I promote Kathy Bird, Colleen, well, and myself. <laughs> You can promote yourself, but promote somebody. Yeah, she did promote uh, Colleen and uh, <laughs> uh, Kathy Berg. Oh, and then while we're at it, um, um, Kathy Arbor, she does a drawing show on Thursdays. Thursdays at 1 Eastern. Uh, Cass Kathy. She's, I think it's just, you can find her with Kathy Arbor, A. A R B O U R. Uh, Mary's pronoun Beth Schuler, uh, Janet. Some people are promoting Janet. We love our Janet. Um, so y'all look at those names there, and then and follow them. You can you can just you know it's easy to find people on YouTube, guys. You just put in their name, you'll find them. So anyway, I think I'll uh, I'll dilly on this for a little bit oh oh i am working on um my big that big note the big book that i showed on monday i'm working on my composition book uh it is hashtag comp book 2020 
for those of y'all that are doing it. Uh, Janet's doing a scavenger hunt. And I think she just tagged it scavenger hunt 2020, I think, is what she put. Um, is that right, Janet? Mary does art journaling every day. Um, you got your big book today, Riri? <laughs> did you get a pink one, a black one? What did you do? What color did you get? <laughs> I think I need a little texture in the skin here. junk journal shop um oh you got a marbled one oh awesome <laughs> that was so fun i'll tell you that was so fun all right guys well i guess i'll head out and uh hope y'all enjoyed just kind of playing today doing some doing some uh lettering uh you know, lettering and sketching lettering and sketching all right Thanks, guys. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. I'll, um, I don't know, I'll throw him up there. I got to post something to, to say thank you for joining me. I'll throw him up there. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. I might do some impromptus in the next couple of days. And uh, thanks for all the thumbs up on the way out the door. Bye, guys.